everyone. Welcome to UAT Time within the United Countries Special by First Ukraine. You can find us on the frequencies available on our website, firstuaid.com. I'm Sergei Vilichansky. And I am Olivier Vedry. UAT Time is the key to bring Ukraine and Europe closer to each other by introducing the red Ukraine to the rest of the world. Ukraine is doing much better than two years ago as far as international image and coverage go, but still not nearly enough. Why are we behind in such a vital battlefield? Our guest today is Irina Kupczynska, project coordinator of NGO Agency of Ukrainian Image. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. Uh, today we want to talk about Ukrainian image. Because if there is such an organization, uh, then you are the expert to tell us how are we doing in the world. Uh, well, Right, thank you. Um, well, first of all, I'm an editor-in-chief of the monitoring project as it was established together with NGO Agency of Ukraine's image mm -hmm. and uh, Ukrainian diaspora in USA, Razum for Ukraine. Uh, so we created a monitoring IT program that is collecting all the information which was published in online media in English, uh, Portuguese, Arabic, even Chinese, uh, however, we don't have right now experts uh, mm -hmm. to uh, analyze all of those data. Uh, however, um, we have um, these uh, five basic languages we are looking into all the time, and uh, we have uh, revealed a lot of uh, information about perception of uh, Ukraine uh, in the world. Uh, like um, we are constantly associating uh, with war, with Russia. What is uh, really <coughs> horrific, Ukraine is usually mentioned not as an actor in uh, geopolitics, but usually as um, a mere uh, subject of discussion between okay. West and East. And it's uh, pretty painful because okay. we don't set our own agenda for, okay. for now. That's what, that's what we said just before, that uh, Ukraine has to become an actor. And that's very important, and not right. only a subject, but an actor. And that's what we said before. Well, and that's good, <coughs> that's good. You, you have to give this image that Ukraine must be an actor. Uh, here's, uh, I've got some information mm -hmm. from your website. Uh, actually, it's very impressive. Uh, what you do is step one, monitoring. You look through 50 to 80% of the materials on Ukraine's team national, international, online media, and then analytics, and then projects. Uh, what, right. what, 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 uh, well, we, we know what analytics mm -hmm. is, are, are what, what about projects ba based on analytic di diagnosis of Ukraine's image and the international mm -hmm. media, we conduct events to support international media of Ukraine. Night of uh, Remembrance, Mikhailovsky Club, Could you, can you yeah. tell us more about can that? Can you explain um, about that? Well, of course. Um, well, first of all, uh, we've uh, figured out through analytics uh, that there are multiple problems. Uh, one of those inside Ukraine is misunderstanding and miscommunication mm. that resulted in a conflict in, in Donbas, as it resulted in a multiple conflicts uh, between um, some groups and mm. some people. Uh, so uh, we were aimed at, like, um, well, Mikhailovsky project is uh, one of the very early projects of our um, agencies established uh, long, longer than a year ago. And it now lives its own life. Experts gather together mm -hmm. and they convey their best theories and best ideas mm -hmm. between, uh, between themselves. And uh, they can create a, like, a complete another uh, level of discussion. Uh, then we, uh, this year, we've uh, conducted Night of Silence and Night of Remembrance uh, on uh, November uh, 28th or 27th, uh, 7th, yeah. I don't remember, uh, 28th, uh, 28, actually. Uh, this was aimed at uh, gathering Ukrainians uh, among uh, the ideas we um, we conveyed and we defended on Maidan. Uh, silent uh, remembrance of uh, different heroes, of people who gave up their lives. And as well, it uh, coincidenced with uh, um, 
with the uh, anniversary of uh, uh, Ukrainian Holodomor uh, remembrance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to show that we have a very rich <coughs> and powerful history we should remember about and we should not make uh, more mistakes mm -hmm. like those and that we should um, like take our democratic values and remember that um, our nation is uh, is actually a king inside our country and that we are very responsible for what is going on with us so we wanted to boost uh, critics uh, inside the society and questioning what is wrong what is right why is it going going on so and yeah. we've uh, created a candle uh, from from the candles to remember to show that uh, we are still burning and we want to uh, we remember that this is a road of light and life mm -hmm. and we want to conduct that fight. Well, I, th I think good. what you do is very <laughs> astonishing. Yeah, yeah. I've uh, evaluated some of your, um, some of your uh, uh, information. It's interesting that according to your monitoring, uh, the, uh, I mean, one of, the be one of the most talked subjects is Crimea. Right. Uh, it's what uh, a week or two weeks ago mm -hmm. pretty much and then um, uh, second uh, is Ukrainian economy industry and the news about Russia which uh, that uh, has received that Russia has received an official refusal from the US government to provide guarantees for Ukraine's liabilities so mm -hmm. that that news made quite a quite a uh, reposts and uh, uh, print and then the third one is uh, uh, Ukrainian international relations. Uh, the news that, or the, the date, December 5, marks 25, 21 years since the signing of the Budapest Memorandum. The document signed by the leaders of Ukraine, Russia, the UK, and the US required Ukraine to give up its nuclear weapons. And the world powers, in exchange, promised to respect Ukraine's existing borders and sovereignty of an independent Ukraine, mm -hmm. which was violated, heavily violated by Russia a year and a half ago and still violated. in violation. Yeah. So, uh, and then there is a lot of uh, other information, sports and, and, and stuff. And again, uh, actually number four in, in this uh, ratio is uh, the news about Ukrainian oligarchs in uh, London. So. No. Yeah, unfortunately, that's the way, that's how we become famous. And then number five is sports. Mm -hmm. Ukrainians are quite good in sports and boxing and stuff. But and well, football. right, uh, well, right. Um, but although the most entertaining um, materials are gaining, uh, are getting most popular materials. Yes. yes. Like uh, sport, uh, we have uh, this uh, monthly report we send to. Uh, uh, ambassadors uh, all over the world okay. about Ukraine's image that show stats, what things uh, are the most popular, mm. what materials were mm. the most popular. Okay. And uh, actually we as well have such a, uh, such a point about uh, most popular Russian materials. Sometimes it shows that those materials were just popular and sometimes we can get that they had the uh, same social resonance in different countries. It means that they, uh, that they were boosted through the social media. Mm -hmm. So we are defining through this which uh, uh, messages were the most uh, interesting for Russia to promote about Ukraine. Well, uh, last month, the most popular theme uh, all around the world uh, was sport because of uh, uh, because of football, uh, yes. soccer. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. And um, so, Ukraine in Euro uh, 2016 was something very engaging and something very mm -hmm. popular. Actually, yes, we have what uh, the national team has made it to the European Championship for the first time. Uh, through the group uh, contests, which had never happened oh. before. Well, Congratulations. Uh, Euro 2012 was, U Ukraine participated only because we hosted it. Mm. So, right. uh, but now through the competitions, we made it. And, uh, and uh, Dynamo Kyiv, 
You know? I, am, I am a Dynamo supporter. I really like yes, Dynamo. Dynamo <laughs> Kiev has made it into the uh, Champions, Champions League uh, playoff. Yeah. So those news. Quite good club, good, good club. Uh, and then boxing, uh, Klitschko unfortunately lost Klitschko. it. Klitschko. Right. Yeah. He lost the battle. But anyway, He's still a champion. Yeah. Uh, we are trying to show uh, on our Facebook page, for example, we are trying to show what was a negative and what, what was positive about Ukraine, uh, Ukrainian image in uh, media. For example, about uh, Dynamo, um, that was uh, very good about uh, Ukraine's uh, mm -hmm. uh, Ukraine's uh, matches with Slovenia, mm -hmm. and so that was very good, let's say PR, yeah. and vice versa was uh, same uh, was same negative I informational event about racism mm -hmm. uh, on Ukraine's uh, on Ukraine's stadium, yeah. and that uh, Dynamo was uh, made <coughs> to uh, to was to punished play, to yeah, play was three games with mm -hmm. no audience. Mm -hmm. so. so, and that we, we want to, uh, so we are trying to show negative uh, sides as well, to show uh, those in Ukraine that some of their, uh, some of their behavior is seen as unacceptable at yes, all unacceptable. Yeah. For, for the world. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, such a two sides mirror. So we are trying to show what was told about Ukraine and we are uh, trying to show what should be told about Ukraine. Sure. Well, just like mm -hmm. with uh, UAT, yeah. you know, <laughs> but we don't try to cover up and don't try to sugarcoat it. Uh, you know, if it's there, it's there. If uh, it's not there, let's just face but it. But in your strategy, because we, we are here, you had time to explain Ukraine to the rest of the world, and we want to give a good image. Uh, what is your uh, way of thinking and your strategy? You try, mm -hmm. oh, yes, we have to talk about also uh, corruption and war, this yes. is not a good image. Yes. But we have to uh, also to show that, uh, okay, we are walking on. We're on the road, and what is your strategy about that? You 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 show okay good and bad things, but also also you you show how to to deal with the best, yeah? Right. Uh, so what we are uh, we suppose that our a uh, like our core aim is to show that Ukraine is reforming. I know so much people who act on behalf of their volunteering projects in order to change everything. Well, actually, um, director of uh, Razum for Ukraine, uh, she used to work in New York. She came back to Ukraine. She um, became IT, like, uh, IT chief <coughs> of uh, Saakashvili reformist team mm -hmm. and she is working li like a volunteer for half of a year trying to uh, they, they have uh, created online uh, platform for communication of Odessa, mm -hmm. uh, the Odessa power and people, uh, they are trying to uh, to change uh, how um, the cargoes go into Odessa port, and that's something something very impressive that people are doing uh, on without any money, yeah. without any support, just in their own willing to change everything. And we want to show that Ukraine was uh, largely underestimated during uh, during the Soviet rule, during yeah. the mm. Moscow rule, because Ukraine just gained its uh, independence uh, like 25 years ago. Mm. That's um, let's uh, compare to those uh, countries that have been independent and building their own agenda mm. for centuries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's really a very something very different. Mm -hmm. And we want to show that we have this history of culture, that we had uh, like impressive uh, warriors, Cossack, who were defending like complete Europe from uh, from t the Tatars, um, <coughs> basically they became our friends. Mm. But that was, uh, was what was happening. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, Ukrainians uh, uh, were. Uh, very famous scientists, but on behalf of uh, Soviet uh, Soviet ruling, we have almost 20 people who were born in Ukraine and got Nobel prizes, but yeah. they were not living in Ukraine and they, they did not uh, receive it on behalf of Ukraine because of uh, because of what was going on. Yes. I don't say that uh, Soviet rule and Russia is uh, is to blame is the only one to blame for yeah. for all <coughs> the problems. No, of course not. We have lots of problems. We have lots of uh, mis misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. But what I, I am saying is that we have to um, resurrect what was 
uh, actually basically graved about Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And we should produce our more new and uh, explicit content. Well, Maidan was something very unbelievable for Europeans who came to Ukraine mm -hmm. and they were shocked that people still are dying for values. They, yes. have, mm -hmm. they have been dying two centuries yeah. ago. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, uh, it's quite clear about your, uh, your uh, strategy what, what what is your mechanism? How do you do that? How do you like you mentioned that you do what a weekly mail out to uh, world uh, ambassadors of all kinds of uh... no actually is it monthly uh, okay monthly monthly and uh, so we are uh, uh, sending as well analytics with uh, basic uh, data uh, that can change like Ukrainian image mm. in their okay. countries. Okay. Uh, so that's something that we can convey and boost people to do on their own because we're pretty small. And uh, yes, as I, well, I was thinking like it sounds like a huge operation. How many people do you have? Uh, well, basically in NGO there are like five people. They are, they are, they are, not, they are not a lot. No, but they are, they are working a lot. No, that, that's See, incredible. They, they must have uh, 26 hours a day yes, instead that, of that, 24. That is, so, <laughs> that is uh, completely so, but we are doing a monitoring project, okay. uh, which is uh, most uh, time consuming okay, yes. with our volunteers, with our best editors who devotedly like read, uh, read all these uh, articles about Ukraine in Portuguese, uh, in mm. Polish, in German, yes. and uh, we do all those on volunteering basis, mm -hmm. and people see that they uh, can uh, create a completely new product yes. that can change. Uh, now the question, uh, especially that you do uh, all of these things voluntarily, uh, especially because of that, you would want to have uh, to see a huge, a real good impact because of your work, right? You wouldn't want just to do this, sacrifice your time for, uh, you know, three people who read your reports and that's all, right? So right. do you do you connect, do you network with uh, Ukraine Media Center yeah, yeah, or can, yes, some other organizations? Do, do you connect yeah. with yes, them? Yes, uh, you're, you're right. Uh, right now we are working with uh, Ukraine Crisis Media Center. Okay. So yes. we, we, are, we want to cooperate there because they uh, do newsletters that mostly are uh, of content that show uh, mm. some, some things, some okay. basic points. And okay. we want to help them to get all the statistics. So uh, we are uh, so we are going to do this together. But, yeah. And uh, there are more uh, more organizations we work together with, like Global Ukrainians. Uh, yeah. It's a network of expats all around the world yes. that uh, create like uh, that who believe in Ukrainian values and conveys those as ambassadors. And that's a huge project launched by Violeta Moscalo, so we take part in those. Uh, as well, uh, there are more projects uh, like Yaromaidan Public Relations, uh, <coughs> so we convey those messages. And they, the, the global Ukrainian is uh, Violeta Moscalo. Yes, yes, she was, yeah, yeah. she was our yeah. guest. Yes. And um, yeah, and y you are, you are a mix like uh, think tank and uh, press agency. And uh, what y this is very difficult to understand. You know, they, 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 uh, what, what you are? You are something new. You know, like. Uh, well, like a press agency, <laughs> but also you do some analysis. Well, yeah, and you have some right. expert uh, list, and uh, really, this is and a very good, good, and good project. Yeah, operation. Um, right. Mm -hmm. We are still trying to define what is our most effective uh, way of mm. uh, working. Since uh, we monitoring project, we have analytics, and we have projects like guide for journalists. Mm -hmm. uh, that's. Uh, project established by us we collected all the trusted experts in Ukraine we have uh, collected their contacts we uh, 
translated information about them in English and about um, agencies that help journalists uh, in Ukraine. As well, we translated into English and to German information about getting press at all, uh, press card in the conflict, do the conflict zone of Donbass. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we are sending it to, to journalists and okay. we are getting good feedback on that project. Like a presidency, but... Actually, I, I wanted to ask about the guide for journalists. Is that what you're yes, talking about? Yes. yes, that's exactly the project. And we've cooperated with uh, other uh, NGOs that work on behalf of changing Ukraine, like uh, Transparency International Ukraine. Okay. Uh, so we're sending journalists to them on behalf of questions of corruption and uh, reanimation package of reform. Really great... Um, great bunch of experts yes, uh, who, yes. who are working on legislation <coughs> and critically thinking and uh, well let's say shaping social and intellectual um, landscape of Ukraine so we are sending journalists to them we have all their contacts and we are trying to stay in touch with those who demonstrate Ukraine as it is we don't want to um, to convey some image that is not true right mm. we yes. have conflict yes. we, we have show the really current to the rest of the world yes. that's that's yes. the same same strategy but what, what is your next project because you you have some project i know for the future and what what uh, are there right um we want to focus on civil society because mm. uh, that's something uh, that can change Ukraine not well actually quickly and not actually very radically but um, but it will change it as uh, as will be very you know very very right for mm -hmm. those who live in Ukraine yeah. and we want to launch a serious uh, series of um, uh, social advertising on behalf of responsibility, mm -hmm. on behalf of uh, political participants in Ukraine. People usually say that politics are bad, but they don't want to go into politics. Yeah. <coughs> Why is it so? People should should want to change uh, something not only on grass uh, grassroots uh, mm. shape, but from from different you you want to build points. like a civil society platform new civil society platform uh, well actually that we're, we're more something about impressions mm -hmm. and more about content that is a platform but that, that would be a very interesting idea uh, something like a social network a network for social activists mm -hmm. uh, or uh, maybe activists uh, who want to connect and do something bigger together mm -hmm. So, so that would be plus one project plus one. <laughs> to, to add to, to all the other things. Yeah. Well, we've got uh, one minute to go, but uh, tell us real you quick about yourself. <laughs> about yourself. Uh, like, do you have uh, a life? <laughs> uh, well, since I'm a full-time student, as well. <laughs> as well. Uh, right. I I'm, getting, ask you about I'm getting my master age. degree in public yeah. relations. Okay. So I'm already finishing finishing You're my my thesis, already. and I'm practicing since I was 18. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's why I I can like pretty quickly switch beside uh, real uh, different things. Um, as well, we have uh, like. Uh, this April, we've launched together with uh, my friends TEDx uh, Kiev National University. Mm -hmm. So that was one more great project to convey uh, convey great ideas to a very perceptive young student audience. <coughs> so uh, what I really like about uh, my lifestyle is that I get inspired quickly okay. and I am happy that I am surrounded with such people yes. that can yes. help me make these ideas come true. Yeah. Um, you participate in some literature evenings. Right. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I like and you write poems. Right. Yes. Yes. Um, yes, yes, yes. I was, uh, I still am, I'm very into Ukrainian literature. Okay. And I really like what I do.
All right, that's cool. Well, it's it's obvious, you know, just uh, by looking at your eyes, it's obvious that you are passionate enough. Yeah, and it's, 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 totally. It's, it's Passionate. Good. Well, thank you thank very you. much for being with thank us. You. And, uh, you know, you can count on us and if there is anything we can do and we can definitely use your information. So we'll get you all the information so we can sign up for your mail outs or, you know. Come back when you, when you want. Yes, if you, have, <laughs> if you have something else, uh, you know, some information, let us know. We'll get you to yeah. come here yeah. and uh, tell it, uh, yeah. us about it. Okay? Right. Thank right. you very much for the conversation and conveying the right. real Ukrainian Thank image. You. Yes. Thanks. It was United Country, UAT time by First Ukraine. Our guest was Irina Kupchinska, project coordinator of NGO Agency of Ukrainian Image. Olivier Drin and Sergei Verichonsky were working for you in the studio. Stay with us and we show to you the real train. Thank you for being with us. Have a good day and see you soon.